This match starts on the ground. The Taekwondo guy just gave his back. He's going to get rear naked choked. Yep. So obviously, Aikido guy in the Hakama. And the Taekwondo guy with the gloves. Okay. Going for the face. Got him. Got him. He won that exchange for good. He's kicking at the hands, though. Kick at the body, man. Come on. You think Aikido people know how to defend against kicks to the body or the legs? Ooh, axe kick. But you can already tell Taekwondo person is really helpless in clinch slash trapping range. What kind of spin kick was that? <laughs> Tried it a second time. I guess there's a spinning hook kick, right? But zero momentum to it. Zero setup to it. Taekwondo guy initiates the grappling with the Aikido guy. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no, oh no, oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Aikidokas, what is that called? Obviously, I would just call it sort of like a Kimura lock, right? But what was that called in Aikido? So, I actually, actually, I kind of take that back. Um, Oops, mistimed the range. Kicking at the arm and the hands of the Aikido guy, it's not too bad. Eventually, you'll land a kick that's going to hurt his hands. So, um, there was a submission right there that happened. Taekwondo guy lost that exchange. There you go. Punch at the face, man. Don't keep your leg up like that. You're not a Savat person, man. Savat people can do that. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Taekwondo person going to lose this one. Ooh, nice job. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. Tapping with his foot. Not bad, guys. Okay, I think one more exchange or so. By the way, that's O-sensei on the wall up there. Taekwondo guy again. Oh, his his roundhouse kick to spin kick combos are so bad. Wow. Aikido guy just elects to... Oh, I was going to say he was going to stay in that kind of knee shield guard, but it looks like he passed it. Not bad. Look at that. Not bad. Wow. Okay. So despite the Taekwondo guy wearing the black belt, I think it's obvious to anyone watching that he probably isn't even for a Taekwondoing an average black belt level. Because from my understanding, a black belt in Taekwondo is usually pretty good with kick combos. And his kick combos were not good. He had some good individual strikes, but whenever you try to string together any sort of kick combo, it was not good. His spin kicks were really weak, man. So again, it could be a case of a McDojo type of taekwondo person so taekwondoings you guys let me know what belt is this taekwondo person actually at if we were serious about belting him from a taekwondo curriculum now this channel uh takako he actually recently uploaded a video that i want to bring attention to so he hadn't uploaded for a while and then randomly he uploaded a video talking about how it's really nice to cross train aikido and ballet and that makes sense right because in a very funny way Aikido is kind of like ballet. A lot of the more performance, non-pressure tested martial arts styles, it's kind of like ballet. It really is. It's got an elegance. It's got a compliance. That being said, though, he did make some Aikido techniques work, right? So Aikido people, let me know what the techniques were called. Judokas too, or Jiu-Jitsu guys too. If you guys have alternate names for them, let me know. So like always, I will put all the links in the description and end comments. And make sure to press a like, make sure to press subscribe, make sure to answer those questions I posed. For those of you who want to see more of Coach Nicolas Seignac, I'll be with him on Saturday. For those of you who are doing a seminar in El Segundo, obviously my foot's going to take a while to heal. So I will just be filming, but feel free to come say hi to me. Just please don't attack me because <laughs> I will beg for mercy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I talk to chess.com tomorrow, so I will let you guys know how that goes. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.